is going on you guys and welcome back to Black Entertainment. I want to say thank you once again for all tuning in to another Thursday video and more so another Black Entertainment video. Like always you guys, I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks to you, you guys make every single video possible because the majority of the time, a majority, I can't even say majority of the time, you guys inspire every single video, especially Thursday videos. I pick your guys' comments out from below and put them into the videos and especially when I do Call of Duty videos, I like to do the challenges, I like to do things that you guys want to see. So thanks to you guys, you make pretty much every single video possible. So thank you for that. Uh, so I was looking through the comments down below, again, near the penis region, and I picked out some of the comments that stood out the most and some of the comments that I want to do in this video. So without further ado, you guys, let's get right into some of these questions and see what your sick, twisted minds left below. Let's do this, bitches. All right, you guys, so first up, we got Smiley, not so smiley. So is he smiley? Probably not so much. Who asks, would you rather eat shit-flavored chocolate or chocolate-flavored shit? That's a good one. That is actually a very good question. You can tell by the thumbs up on that comment that a lot of people wanted to see this one answered. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna answer it. Well, Smiley, not so Smiley, out of those two options, one of them is going to taste like shit, and one of them is going to taste like chocolate. See, now, why would I really care what it looks like if it tastes delicious and it is actually chocolate? Because after you eat one or the other, your breath is either going to smell like chocolate or your breath is either going to smell like shit. And out of those two scenarios, I would rather it be my breath smell like chocolate because I'm sure a mouthful of shit is probably going to make you throw up. You're probably going to have to brush your teeth a thousand times. You're probably going to have to go buy three bottles of Listerine. And I don't want to do that. So out of those two, I would probably choose the chocolate flavored shit. Yeah, the shit is going to look disgusting. Hopefully it's not like just one of those shits after you eat spicy food and it just has a weird consistency to it there's like peanut shells sticking out of it there's fucking green shit in it hopefully it's a nice solid shit and i'll eat that one that tastes like chocolate all right then we got andrew ollie who asks would you rather be sexually attracted to fruit or change sex every time you sneeze well andrew ollie I actually really like this question, that's why I chose it. This one really stood out to me because sexually attracted to fruit, I mean, that could go one of two ways. If maybe it was like a mango and you cut a hole in the mango and you fuck the mango, I guess, that's cool. But are you sexually attracted to every kind of fruit? Like, am I going to be like, oh my god, a banana, I want to stick this banana in my butthole, woo! Or am I still like conscience about my sexuality and I'm like okay I don't want to stick this piece of fruit in my butthole I want to just fuck mangoes and stuff it, it depends how that one works but being sexually attracted to fruit would be pretty cool except it's like you go to the grocery store and you get to the aisle where all the fruit is and you're just like oh my god there's there's, there's fruit everywhere and you just start ejaculating all over the fruit you might get banned from some convenience stores from some grocery stores if you're always ejaculating onto the fruit so that's definitely gonna be a problem and something you're gonna have to think about or is like a little girl like a little three-year-old girl gonna be eating her fruit and you go up to her and jack it and fuck the fruit in front of her face because again you're gonna get in trouble for that and I don't know if that's the greatest uh, scenario in a situation like that so is it one of those things where you could sexually control on how sexually uh, um, I can't even think of the right how sexually attracted you are to the fruit. And then the other one is change sex every time you sneeze. See, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it'd be cool to be a girl every now and then, but you sneeze a little bit more often than you probably think and just, choo, boom, you're a girl. And if you do sneeze, do you still keep the same clothes? Am I going to be a girl in man clothes? Am I going to be a sexually attractive girl? Or am I going to be a 400-pound girl? I don't know where these go. So I really don't want to change... I mean, that would be, see, that would be cool, though, to change sex, but then it's going to be weird because you're always a girl and a guy, so I'm probably going to have to go with sexually attracted to fruit, 
Although, it would be pretty cool to sneeze and be a girl every now and then. But again, that's going to get old pretty fast. And I would rather uh, have sex with some fruit, personally. Sounds pretty cool. You know, buddy, you were actually listed down below in the comments that people miss you. You're kind of famous. You're like a little famous kitty, and you don't even know it. Look at the camera. Come on. They just want to say hi to you. You got a little bit of fame. You got to start your own Instagram. You know that? Don't struggle. You just wanted to say hi really quick. I know you guys miss little kitty. But does he miss you? That, I do not know. All right, you guys, and moving on, we got Blinking Planet who asks, has your parents ever caught you watching porn? And Hey, 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 hey! He's scratching his post when I'm trying to make a video. Calm yourself. Calm. Okay, let's lower the decibel limit a little bit and cut that shit out! He ran away, he got scared because I shouted at him. Oh, so, Blinking Planet, back to the question before that little shit interrupted me. We are going to assess this situation. Has my parents ever caught me watching porn? Uh, the whole answer to that is no, they haven't. And that's actually pretty, pretty weird. I would think they have because, you know, I watch porn probably more than I should. I mean, <laughs> it's porn. Uh, but no, they haven't. I've never been caught watching porn. I had like one close encounter, I think, before. And that's when I was like upstairs at my grandparents' house. I was on the couch. And I don't know, my hand was in my pants and I was jerking it. I, don't, I, was, I was in high school, man. When you're in high school, you're, you jack off everywhere, man. You jack off in the bathroom. You're like, hey, man, I gotta use the restroom really quick. You jack off. You jack off under the sheets. You jack off at your friend's house. You jack off at family events. You jack off at funeral rolls. You're always jacking off in high school. And I almost got caught because one of my grandparents walked up and like my hand was in my pants, but I threw over a blanket, and if he would've moved the blanket, he would've seen that my hand was on my penis and my pants were kinda down. That was the only time that I've really been close to being caught, but besides that, I've been pretty good. I make sure headphones are plugged in at night because you don't wanna start a video just, ah, ah. See, that would, be, that would be weird. So you gotta take precautions, you gotta plug headphones in, you gotta go on Google Chrome and open up the incognito tab. Like, I got that shit down to a science when I was a kid. And now, like, I watch porn, like, I don't know. It's just, I got this shit on lock. I don't even gotta worry about that anymore. So to answer your question, no, I've never been caught watching porn. Have you? Cause that's a funny story that I want you guys to comment down below. Getting caught watching porn? Hilarious. And I wanna read about it. So do it! <laughs> and last but not least, we got poor Larry McGill who asks, Would you rather give oral sex to a girl who weighs 600 pounds or have a threesome with your mom and grandma? Well, Larry, way to end the video on a fucked up note. See, every other question wasn't too bad, but you had to throw in the curveball and just screw everything up. But... Okay, oral to a 600 pound girl is flat out disgusting. Her legs are gonna look like she works at a cottage cheese factory. There's gonna be blubber everywhere. She probably smells like shit because 600 pound people don't really shower every day because they're not very mobile. But then again, you have to go sleep with your mom and grandma. That's something that's just completely fucked up. Like at least a 600 pound girl is somebody that is not related to you and so for that, Larry, I'm going to have to pick the 600-pound girl. Is it going to be disgusting? Yep. Am I going to throw up? Yep. I'm actually probably going to throw up in her mouth. Then she's going to be into that shit. She's throwing up in my mouth. And I'm like, she's like mama bird. And I'm just little birdie. And just blah, blah, blah. So it's gross. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm not down with that cottage cheese shit. But again, it's better than mom and grandma because that's awkward. That's an awkward family event. You all go camping for the weekend. Oh, hey, grandma. And just you've seen her naked. It's probably not gonna work out too well so the 600 pound girl is gonna be what I'm gonna do in the booty hole so that's my answer Larry all right you guys that is wrapping things up thank you for tuning in to yet another black entertainment video I was a little bit hyper in this video I think I just snorted like three lines of cocaine off a stripper's butthole so again if you enjoyed the video please drop a like down below and mostly 
Leave your comments down below if you have something you want to ask me. If you have something a little personal, if you have some would you rather, I really don't care, comment down below and if I like it enough, we will throw it in a would you rather video. We actually wouldn't throw it, I'll actually like go to my editing software and I'll drag the little box that your comment is and I'll put it in the video. I don't really throw anything into the video. So, that being said, you guys, thanks again for tuning in. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll talk to you guys next time. See you later.